Um, I realized that I like girls in like fifth grade and then I came out in eighth grade as bisexual. And uh, it wasn't until my senior year when I started identifying as a lesbian because um, there's very slim options <laughs> in a small town like that where nobody comes out <laughs> and you don't know who's gay. <laughs> when I came out in eighth grade, I told people, my friends, and they were like, oh, okay. And then they'd just start talking about something else. Like, it's not even, a, it wasn't even a big deal. And then, but I don't think it actually set in until, like, I started dating a girl my senior year that, like, worked at the local hangout. <laughs> and then people saw us together. But people knew. People knew I was gay, so it wasn't a big deal. We never really knew each other. We'd seen each other, but never really knew each other. And then m me and my friends went to eat at the Mexican restaurant in my town. And her friends, her and her friends were there eating too. And then my friends knew her friends, so we all sat down and started talking. We hung out that night, and then like four months later, uh, we contacted each other and we started dating. It was December of 2009 when I went to my school board and asked them if I could bring my girlfriend with me to prom. And they told me no. And so what I did was they told me that I could just go with a boy and she could go with a boy and we could meet up and dance together. So I just let it go. And actually I had no idea that I had a right to do that. So then I went later in 2010 and asked them if I could wear a tux and they said no. Girls have to wear dresses and boys have to wear tuxes. And so at that point I was just really upset and I, I thought I wasn't going to get to go to prom because I couldn't go with who I wanted to go with and I contacted the ACLU and the ACLU sent a demand letter to my school telling them that they couldn't do that and then my school responded by canceling prom altogether and then we went to court and the court ruled that the school violated my First Amendment rights in three ways by not letting me bring my girlfriend, by not letting me wear a tux and by canceling prom. We actually went to court because we wanted them to make the school put the prom back on, but then they were like, oh, there's this private prom and, and she's allowed to go to it and she can bring her girlfriend, blah, blah, blah. So <clears throat> when I tried to buy my ticket to that prom, they canceled that prom. So then they had two other proms and one I was allowed to go to, it was at the country club, and the other one I was not allowed to go to, and that's where everyone went. The one I went to was like six people there. When I got there, the, the principal was there letting people in. There were teachers chaperoning it. So, I mean, if it was going to be a private prom hosted by the parents, I would think parents would be there, not faculty. I had a lot of support from everywhere besides my hometown. <laughs> uh, I had support from, I mean, I had so many people on Facebook. I got letters, just everything. Celebrities um, came to support me. So, but in my hometown, like, everyone was, I, everyone hated me. <laughs> I've never really cared what people thought about me. I, I care about the people that, like, I care about and that care about me. I care about what they think. If you have true friends, your true friends are still going to be friends with you. Even if they agree with it or don't agree with it, they're still going to be friends with you. And I think that if more people that are against it would get to know people that are gay, that there would be more tolerance. So I think the more people that come out in small towns like that, there would be more tolerance that came from it because then people would like know those people. And I'm sure people are very un uneducated about that subject in small towns because they don't have a lot of exposure to it. I think that like in the whole picture, it'll work better for, towards tolerance and equality.